Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today I'm going to show you how to do Jack Daniels ribs. This is going to be the perfect Labor Day recipe. You're firing up those grills this weekend. I've got a couple slabs of St. Louis cut spare ribs. We're going to get some savory and spicy rub on the outside. Get them on the smoker till they're tender. At the very end, we're going to glaze them with this sticky, sweet Jack Daniels sauce. It's going to be outstanding. Y'all are going to want to try this. So I've got a couple racks St. Louis cut ribs here, and I've just lightly trimmed them. Anything that was a lot of extra fat or anything, I took off. On the back side, I did remove the membranes. There's not a whole lot of trimming you have to do to them, but we're gonna get some seasoning on them. The first thing I wanna do is a savory layer to give me some really good flavors. So I've got Mississippi Grind I'm going here, and you could use any rub combo that you like. Whatever goes great on ribs, go for it. I like the savoriness that this Mississippi Grind gives them. And we're not going really heavy on them. We're just going a light to a medium coat. And on top of the savory layer, I'm gonna hit them with some of my hot rub because I need some spice. We're just going a light to a medium coat of the hot rub. These two rubs are gonna combine and pair with the sweetness of the Jack Daniels glaze. And that's really what's gonna build the profile flavor on these ribs. I'm gonna flip them over, do the same thing to the meat side. So now we've got the seasoning on the outside. Those two rubs are gonna combine, start working on the meat. It's gonna start the cooking process, drawing out some of that moisture, letting that flavor get deep down in the meat. Perfect time to go ahead and fire that grill up. We're gonna be cooking on the Memphis wood fire grill today. I'm running some good hickory pellets in it. We're gonna run it about 250 degrees. And as always, you can use any grill to cook these ribs. You just wanna keep it at 250 degrees and hold it steady. Ribs have come up to room temperature and you can see that the rubs have really started pulling the moisture out of them. That's what you wanna see. The Memphis Wood Fire Grill is sitting on 250, got a little bit of hickory smoke rolling out. We're ready to get these ribs right on the rack. And we're gonna let them soak up some of this good hickory smoke. Let them start drying out, building that bark on the outside. To keep them from getting too dry, I'm gonna mix up a Jack and Coke spritz. It's gonna be perfect to add a little moisture. Now we're just gonna let the Memphis Grill do its magic. All right, our ribs have been smoking for about an hour and a half. We're gonna take a look at them. You can see they're already starting to get some nice color on them, starting to get dark, looking a little dry. This is the point you wanna get some moisture on them. And I've just mixed up some Jack and Coke in my big orange sprayer, real easy. And I'm just gonna hit the tops of these ribs with it just to get a little moisture on them. Right away, that smells really good. You can smell that Jack and Coke. You don't have to worry, all that whiskey is gonna burn off, but it's gonna make a beautiful color on these ribs. Rubs making that bark look just right. So I'm just gonna close the lid. We're gonna let them go another hour or so. Let them keep developing that flavor and that bark on the outside. We'll spritz them about another 30 minutes, and then it'll be time to get them tender. We're gonna wrap them up. Ribs have been on about two and a half hours, and I really don't get caught up on time. What I'm looking for is color like this. You can see the rubs, it's already turned into bark. It's got a great mahogany look to it. That lets me know it's time to wrap. They're only gonna get darker at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them off. And now what we're gonna do is get them tender. But check that out, isn't that beautiful? I mean, they got a good looking color to them. That deep reddish mahogany color. That's what you wanna see. Now I'm gonna take them to the cutting board and show you how we're gonna wrap these up. So the first thing, you're gonna get some foil and tear it out and always double wrap ribs just in case any of the bones, when they start drawing back, wanna pop through. It'll save you from making a mess on your grill. Now I'm gonna hit a little bit with that Jack and Coke that we had mixed up in our big orange sprayer. The next thing I'm gonna do is put down a little bit of brown sugar. This is gonna be the foundation, what we're gonna build on. The ribs are gonna lay in the sugar as it melts and caramelizes. It's gonna put a great glaze on the top of them. And I'm also gonna spice it up a little bit with this Captain Rodney's Buchan Glaze. And this is one that they make out of Scotch Bonnet Pepper, so it does have a kick to it. You just need a line of it. And you can use whatever you like in the wrap. This goes really well with this Jack Daniels ribs. We're gonna flip the ribs over. Give them one little spritz on the back side, just a little bit. See, we've got good color on the back as well. The bones are gonna start drawing back from this side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up the foil over the top, tuck it in, and then bring it back over. We have extra protection right on that drawback bone side. Just fold this down and all you have to do is fold up the edges. We can get back in it real easy if we wanna check the doneness here in a little bit. This one's going right back on the smoker. I'll get the other slab off and we'll do the same thing. Ribs have been wrapped here for about an hour and 15 minutes. I wanna go ahead and check them at this point. They ought to be getting pretty close. 
You can see we got some disintegration. We got that bone pullback. That's how I know if we're done. You can also tell with your thermometer. I'm gonna use my thermal pin here. I'm looking for, you know, 204, 205. That's telling me right there, this slab is done. I mean, we're seeing good temps right away. That's as far as I wanna take them. I know the texture is gonna be right on them. And so what we're gonna do now, carefully, carefully, get them out of the full. I'm just gonna lay them right here on the cutting board because we're gonna glaze them. I'm gonna grab the other rack real quick. And in the glaze that I'm using, I've got a Jack Daniels glaze. I started with some brown sugar, added a shot of Jack Daniels, shot of pineapple juice, and some of my vinegar sauce. It's real simple. I brought it to almost a bowl and just cooked off all the alcohol in the whiskey. And it made this really great glaze. And I'm just gonna paint the backside, then we'll flip them over, paint the top side, and we'll get them right back on the grill just to set the sauce on them, set this Jack Daniels sticky glaze. And man, I wish you guys could smell this because it is unbelievable. Ooh, check that out. Beautiful, beautiful. Now we're gonna carefully transfer these ribs right back to the grill. Now we've got a few spots here where you can see some of the fats rendered down, it's changed the color. We're gonna just touch that up with a little extra rub. Anywhere where it's discolored just a little bit where the sauce came off. Now we need about 15 minutes to set the glaze. We'll be ready to try these Jack Daniels ribs. Ribs have been glazing here for about 15 minutes. That's all they need. We just wanted to set that glaze over the top, kind of let it caramelize just a little bit. We're ready to get these ribs over to the cutting board and try them. But look at that, that is beautiful. Beautiful slab, Jack Daniels ribs. I let the ribs just hang out here on the cutting board about five minutes. We just wanted to let them rest a little bit, get that heat off. But these things look really, really great. I mean, I'm happy with the color, the way that Jack Daniels glaze is sticky on top of it, but you still see the colors of the rub come through. It makes a really great presentation for the ribs. I know it's gonna taste fantastic. And the way I've cut them, I'm gonna flip them over so I can see the bones. And we're just gonna start with our knife and just make cuts right in between the bones. Cutting perfect. Check that out, juicy. Oh man, you can just squeeze them like a sponge. All that juice comes flying out of them. We got that smoke ring on them. I'm gonna set a few of them up here. We can kind of see how these ribs turned out. All of them just look fantastic. So we've got some big meaty ribs here. I wanna get one right here, I wanna try it. I mean, check that out. All that juice, all that moisture. It's always gotta pass the bite test, right? Mm. Mm. Tender, one bite, comes right off the bone. That's how tender it is. Mm. I mean, it's really a fantastic rib. The way the spice from the hot rub comes through, it balances out all the sweetness that you get from that whiskey glaze, from melting that Jack Daniels down with the brown sugar and the vinegar sauce. It plays really nice together. It's a fantastic rib. You gotta give this glaze a try. Real easy, to, just to recap it, we started with a couple slabs of St. Louis cut spare ribs. We hit them with some Mississippi grind and some hot rub, double note of savory and spice. And then we smoked them for about two and a half hours. We wrapped them up in full to get them tender with the little Captain Rodney's and a little more brown sugar. We basted them when they looked dry with the Jack and Coke drink. Cooked them for another hour and 15 minutes and then we glazed them. And then you've got these beautiful ribs that are ready to devour. And I'm gonna go in and get one more. This big one right here's got my name on it. Mm. Perfect bite. I mean, that's absolutely fantastic. Hey, that's it. Jack Daniels ribs. I'm ready for a Jack and Coke now. So if you're looking for a different kind of glaze to really give them ribs some flavor, give that Jack glaze a try. It's really easy to make. You really get some great caramel notes from it. You get a little bit of the whiskey flavor, but it's more just about the sweet, even tones it gives those ribs. If you like what we're doing here at How to Barbecue Right, subscribe to our channel. You can always find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We'll see you guys next time. Chill, these are some dynamite ribs. Tell you what, whiskey river, take my mind. You hear me, Shell?